Hi everybody, my name is Rohit and in this video I am going to talk about variable list argument. So what is variable list argument and why do we need that? So to understand this, I will explain it through one C code. So let's say I am designing one code. It should be able to show uh, some variables. So I am defining a main function for that. Now let's say I want to design a function that should be able to add summation of this number that I am passing as an argument and it should be able to give me the answer. Now to store the answer somewhere I will take one variable called ns and will return whatever the argument that I am passing and then at the end I will just spin this answer variable that should be able to give me the answer or some reason of this thing now if you try to compile this code nothing will come or I guess error will come because we are not defining the function so let's do that thing first now it should return the some reason of this thing thing okay now I'll compile this code and run this code. Okay, so it is working properly. Now say my requirement is a little bit changed. Now instead of passing this two argument 10 and 30, now I want to add uh, three numbers. So what I will do, I'll just uh, instead of this passing two argument, I will pass three argument and will try to get the sum of these things. Well, in this case, it won't work because uh, here we are passing three argument and the function, whatever we have defined, is just for two variables only. So again, I need to make one another function that should be able to add three variable. And in C, we cannot give a same function name to two functions. So again, I need to give a separate function name for three variable. Just for simplicity, I am writing as sum of three. Now in this case, I'll pass 3 argument as an integer because I am dealing with integer only. I will call that function sum of 3 and here I will pass 3 or I would say I would declare 3 integers because obviously I am passing 3 integers and we will add these things. Now it will work nice. Now if I say so this requirement is dynamic in nature I may need to add a 2 variables at a time or three or five or any number so every time the problem with this thing is every time we need to declare one more function and also the another function name we need to think we need to give a separate function name also we need to define a separate function so can't we design anything that will work uh, in a generic way that means i can design a fun function that should add as many numbers as i'm passing as an argument should uh, find the summation of this number and should return the result well lucky for us there is something called a variable list argument in C with the help of which we can we can get this job done so to do this now currently we can delete these things because we don't need this other function now to do with that we need to declare one special type of variable called v underscore list is there so these are the few macros which we can help or i would say with the help of which we can achieve this task and this macros if you see this uh, in macro itself they are passing the argument as uh, this v underscore list well basically it's a data type so first we need to declare that this type of data or i would say the variable of this type and then we can use that v underscore start v underscore end copy in our now to understand this thing first let's uh let's directly you can work with the code okay the first thing that we have understood that first uh, in order to work with this variable list argument we need to include one header file called stdarg.h so first we'll do that thing okay i need to provide a dot here stdarg.h okay now the common thing which was that uh, to in all this macro they were using a type called v underscore list basically it's a data type and this declaration of this that uh, 
variable and this macro called v underscore star dog and all this are defined in stein in inside a header file called stdr.h so just we have included the header file now that's the time to declare one that variable called v underscore list now we'll give a name of variable is var and of course uh, this declaration won't be this uh, like like this way because we are dealing with this variable list argument so declaration of function is a little bit different so here to declare a function in a variable list argument manner or to tell the compiler that uh, treat this function as a variable list argument this is how we give this declaration just three dot after the comma that means in definition also we need to give this three dot one two and three now as we know we want to get the summation of this variable so first i'll take one variable sum and at the end i'll return this variable i have initialized with this zero because it may contain some garbage value so after after declaring this variable we need to we need to use a macro called v underscore start this uh, the syntax for v underscore start is something like that v underscore start here watch it come y v underscore start v underscore list variable name and here it should take last parameter well it is something like here v underscore start we need to give the variable name which is our in our case we have declared this we have named this variable as a var so we need to pass this var here and here this lst or last means the whatever the last argument for which we know the type so in this case we have written integer that means our last argument which be integer and here we have written this integer a so we need to pass it here a and so in order to inform this uh, function that th i want to add this many numbers what we can do we can explicitly pass one parameter or argument that will say this many number i'm going to add so in this case i'll write two that means i want to add these two numbers currently in particular in this case i want to add three numbers so basically this uh, number itself will tell this will tell the compiler or will tell this function probably that these two number i want to add that means after this number whatever argument i'm passing treat as a variable list argument so here in this case we'll write v underscore start var that means initialize this variable to the very first element after this thing so that means initialize me my v underscore start or i would say initialize this v underscore or I would say we are to the very first element after this thing that means initialize with this thing or we can say it's a kind of pointer where it will point to the very first element after this number so after doing this uh, what we need to do just we need to get this uh, number and we need to add it to the sum variable and now by just providing this uh, number the one thing what we have assured to the, uh, this function that we will working with only this many parameter so in order to, so we can what we can do we can rotate one loop we can get this number and we can add is this number so first we will make a loop that will rotate exactly this many number of times whatever we have passed as an argument okay now in order to retract the data because here we don't know the type of data whatever we are passing we just inform to the function that our one argument or i would say our first argument would be integer only and after that whatever argument i'm passing we don't even know the type of that data so to retry the data we have a function called v underscore or macro called v underscore arg so it is something like uh, v underscore arg v underscore list variable name and also the type okay so here and basically it will return a type first of all we can directly use this function v underscore r here we need to provide this call a variable name in, in our case we have written var so we will just write here var 
in here the type that mean what kind of or what type of data I'm expecting here I'm passing all integers so what I need to write here is integer and it will return the here if you see the same type we have written here also and type we have written here also that mean it will return the same type of data so it will return one integer number so basically I'm what I want is just store this variable somewhere and at the end I want to add this thing to my sum variable so this variable is argument particularly in this scale will work like this okay variable the one fixed argument I'm passing is 2 that means the number of argument I'm passing is a variable list argument that means my loop should rotate exactly this many number of time in this particularly in this function call it will rotate two times first it will get the data the first call to this thing called v underscore r will will get or will fetch the data called 10 store it to some variable number 10 and then add it to number I add it add this number to the variable sum initially it was initialized with 0 so 0 plus 10 will give me the 10 again this slip will rotate two time because we have providing two here so when next time when it rotates this pointer which was pointing to 10 will automatically be increased and currently it will point to 20 get this number sum this number and after this this loop will break and will give me the result if I try to run this code it should give me the summation of these things okay it is working fine now see after doing this the one thing is for sure that we will able to add number or can do operation any operation with uh, any kind of argument what I am passing that means I may add 5 number 10 number doesn't matter just I need to give the first first argument as a, the number of argument what I am passing but the one thing is not good about this particular logic is this here we need to provide uh, the exact number of argument what I am passing here I have added 4 more argument that means again I need to go back and change this argument to 7 here because currently I am dealing with the 7 argument so instead of doing these things let's say I don't know how many numbers I am passing can't we directly design something called it should add a numbers I don't need to bother about this count so the by which way we can do this by adding we can for this we can do here first here we will pass a dummy parameter let's say I will ask a 1 here for simplicity we can give any number it doesn't matter and one more argument I will pass here at the end is 0 and and as we know that here we don't we are not passing this uh, argument as a number of uh, argument followed by that so this for loop won't work so we can simply delete it right now so how do we do that so what we can do we'll uh, make one while loop so this while loop uh, here i'm writing one that means it's always two it will adding up the number an infinite number of times because we are not even telling it to stop so here as we know this uh, this one is we call after that i'm pass i'm starting my variable list argument this zero is the ending point so basically i'm telling that one is a starting point and end is the zero or i can say zero is my ending point and between that whatever numbers are there just add it to the one variable and give me that count give me the summation of this result so here after fetching this number i'll just write one simple condition if my number reaches to the last or ending point in this case just break this loop and else just do the thing that we were doing so basically it will add this number and give me the result okay so the cool thing about this thing we don't need to worry about the count how many numbers i'm passing here we can add as many numbers as we want and it will keep on the day it will just it will just adding on the data okay not that okay i might have done one mistake here okay i'm passing two comma side by side so i need to delete that and it should give me the result okay so this was the thing and now there is one there is one or two more thing uh, more macros uh, 
other for this variable string means one is called v underscore and and syntax for this is void v underscore void here we need to provide the argument as v underscore list v this basically this function or macro i would say basically it does that uh, if this uh, v underscore start has allocated memory just deloc at that it is the same thing like we do while we are handling while we are dealing with the memory allocation we deloc at the memory after allocating the thing once we don't use that or once we don't need it anymore or we closing the file after opening the file so this uh, just it is just for uh, cleaning up the code we can say that so v underscore and variable in this case is v uh, in the last thing which is the uh, which is in this variable segment is called v underscore copy is there and here same thing v underscore list uh, destination here we need to write and v underscore list uh, source we need to write so basically it will just uh, just for copying the things so if i want to retry the data from another variable called v2 what i need to write just uh, i need to write this uh, macro called v underscore copy the destination first i need to provide and then source i need to provide so in this case our destination is v2 where i want my data and our source is uh, variable var so by this variable only i also be able to get the data so here i can write v2 sorry not vw v2 and i will okay i mean to close both of these things so i'll close this thing too and if i try to run this code it should be in the correct region well that's it uh, this whole thing covers in this variable list argument so i'll see you in the next tutorial so goodbye